Hey guys, Super Old Scrolls Man here, and today I am bringing you another mod tutorial, and it is how to install ENBs. So first, you would go find whatever ENB you want, and since I already have this ENB installed, I'll just show you how to do it which would be Millennia's ENB um, version 0.15. So you would go download it, whatever. It won't take that long because this only has about three files in it. It looks really good, though. And the, um, it's a really good one. Next, you would go to enbdev.com. And then you would go to news. Then you would go to download. And then you would go look for Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. And go to the latest version, which would be version 0 0.249. And then you hit uh, the download button, and then you go hit download again. And it downloads it. And the next thing you do, now that you both have both of these what you would do is extract them so you would be using the wrapper version only so just extract that onto your desktop and what you do for if it's a WinRAR file is extract to millennia ENB or mill ENB whatever and it makes a new folder and then you just delete that and then you go and you find out your fall at New Vegas directory and this would be this, so you see the d3, d9.dll, and uh, like the launcher and everything in that. So you would see that. And um, all you have to do is first you would take the wrapper version and you would move the d3, d9, and only move that into the... Um, into the directory so let's say you would take this and you just move it in and since I already have it I'll just replace it and then you would take your ENB files and you drag all of them into the directory and there you go that's how you install it and I'll show you how it works oh also before I forget um, let this load up for a second. You have to make sure that you have HDR on and anti-aliasing um, and anisotropic filtering off. So it'll all run correctly because if you have this set on bloom or none on the screen effects, it'll have like the sky looking really black and the ENB won't really work correctly. So, I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so yeah, this is how the ENB looks. Um, pretty good ENB. I would recommend it. Um, this is good for lower end rigs also and not just that. Um, and if you want to change like the settings of the ENB all you have to do is hit shift and enter and you can like turn off bloom turn it on take off detailed shadows turn off like rays and everything like that I usually keep off the rays but keep the sun glares and um have like ambient occlusion off whatever you want to do really doesn't matter but most people keep certain stuff on I would recommend this though. It's a really good ENB. I'd use it, so. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time.